in this video i will share some very important points about wheatstone bridge circuit wheatstone bridge consists of four resistances r1 r2 r3 r4 as shown in this figure this circuit can be called as circuit a b c d this closed circuit is nothing but wheatstone bridge this connection between b and d through galvanometer is called bridge r suppose this bridge is connected to a battery from which a current i is flowing suppose current i starts from positive of the battery when it reaches the junction a it gets splitted into two parts let us suppose i1 current goes towards r1 and i2 current goes towards r3 so mathematically i can write i is splitted into i1 and i2 when this i1 reaches junction b it further splits into two parts suppose a part of it goes towards galvanometer let me call this current as ig the rest of the current will flow to resistance r2 it will be i1 minus ig similarly let us come to this point d from galvanometer current ig is coming and from junction a current i2 is coming both these currents combine at point d and in this portion current flowing is i2 plus ig so this i2 plus ig current reaches point c c through resistance r4 and current i1 minus ig reaches point c through r2 both these currents i1 minus ig and i2 plus ig combine together at point c and give rise to a current that is i1 plus i2 which is nothing but equal to i so i can say current i reaches the negative terminal of the battery now applying kirchhoff law to the closed circuit a b g d a to closed circuit starting from a b g d and ending at a in this closed circuit there is no source of voltage and the sum of all these potentials potential cross r3 potential cross r1 potential cross galvanometer will be equal to zero so let me start from this arm in this arm voltage across resistance r1 is i1 r1 using ohms law when i go to galvanometer if galvanometer has resistance capital g then voltage across galvanometer can be written by using ohms law ig into capital g and when i move towards this this current is coming from opposite direction but the voltage across r3 will be i2 multiplied with r3 because direction of current is opposite in order so i will have to use negative sign here so sum of all these voltages must be equal to zero because there is no source voltage in this closed circuit a b g d a let me call it equation number 1 similarly applying kirchhoff law in closed circuit b c d g b b c d g b in this closed circuit again there is no source of voltage so i can write sum of all the three voltages equal to zero across r2 current is i1 minus ig 
and resistance is R2 plus come to this because current is in opposite direction if I move in this order it will be minus I2 plus Ig current multiply with resistance R4 again in this direction current is in opposite direction I will have to write Ig multiplied with capital G that is the resistance of galvanometer sum of all these three voltages will be equal to zero let me call it equation number two the wheatstone bridge is said to be balanced when no current is detected by galvanometer that is when current ig becomes zero in balanced position of Wheatstone bridge current through galvanometer is equal to 0. Let me call it equation number 3. So I am driving a condition for balanced position of Wheatstone bridge. Using this equation number 3 in equation number 1 and 2 I can write I1 R1 minus I2 R3 equal to 0. This will give us I1 R1 equal to I2 R3. Let me call it equation number 4. This has been obtained from equation number 1 by using Ig equal to 0. Similarly, if I put Ig equal to 0 in equation number 2, I can write I1 R2 minus I2 R4 equal to 0. This will give I1 R2 equal to I2 R4. Let me call it equation number 5. By using equation number 4 and 5, just by dividing left hand side by left hand side and right hand side by right hand side I can write I1 R1 divided by I1 R2 equal to I2 R3 divided by I2 R4 after simplifying I can write R1 upon R2 is equal to R3 upon R4. So this is the condition at which the Wheatstone bridge can be called to be in balanced position. Again let me repeat bridge is said to be balanced when no current flows through this bridge R. That is when Ig becomes 0 and this position can be held if the ratio of resistance is R1 divided by R2 is equal to ratio of the resistances R3 and R4. So hence the required condition for balanced Wheatstone bridge. That's all.